Hello again, friends. It's Sharon from Mad Paper Crush here, and I just wanted to go over a new kit that I have in my shop. This is one of my mad plans. So if you like to do junk journal type planning, bullet journal style, junk journal style planning, um, I make some kits that help make that a little bit easier. And so this is my one that I'm calling Lazy Summer. So I have kits out for um, some of the other seasons as well, and I will link them down down below and I'll also put them in the uh, corner up here if you'd like to see some of the other kits that I have for the mad plans so the lazy summer kit um, this page is just a um, weekly overview page so I have two different styles here the block style here so this is um, seven boxes with a little postcard down here that you could use you know for a list or something like that and these adorable little um, swimsuit ladies um, on cards there. And then this one is a week style going up and down with little blocks for you to put the days um, or the date or whatever into as, as well. So um, that's, this is the kind of plain one. I always do two that are similar. One, I like to add um, the days in. So this one, I just kind of left blank with just little stamps. So you could add your own days and date in there as well. But as you can see, I try to make these flexible so that you could use them for or any dates. I don't like to put dates in so that you could use these from year to year if you wanted to. Um, you know, you can put in your own dates. And if you um, don't like to start your week on a Monday like I do, you can use the plain one and start on any day of the week that you might want to do there. So those are kind of the weekly pages that I have. And then I have some ephemera here that I, excuse me, that I like to add into my planner. So I try to choose a lot or I try to create a lot of little cards that you can put in and around your planner. So for different lists and things like that, or even for like a daily, um, you know, checklist or to-do list, or, you know, if you follow the bullet journal type planning this is where I might do, you know, my rapid planning for, you know, different days and things like that. But I have a whole bunch of different ones here. I have some that you can just kind of get a little bit of some writing on there. Um, I kind of love having that on there, but I'm still making it light enough that you can write over, you know, and do anything you want on top of there. Summer is the season of strawberries. I love to have um, some fussy cut items that you could use. There's some cute little stamps with more of my little swimsuit girls there that I think are adorable and a postcard. And I have another one here, same kind of thing, except um, this one I used some tags. So you could just put these right into your journal to make lists on or to uh, maybe put some memories on, you know, to document the day or something like that. I have a little invoice here with more strawberries. I love this little, um, oh, now the name of it's stereoscope I think they're called um, of the cars on the beach I thought that was I thought that was really fun and then two little um, postcards or pictures down here at the bottom with more people enjoying the beach I thought they were fun too so these are just um, some of these things I would use for collage inside my planner maybe a flip maybe a pocket or something like that as well so that's that page. And then I have some background pages so that if you would like to create your own weekly spread um, or even just a collage page or your monthly introduction or, or your wrap up or something like that, you can use these for that as well. So the first one here, I kind of have a, you know, summery yellow and water blue <laughs> kind of theme going on here. But here you can see I have this uh, beautiful vintage lady getting ready to dive. I thought that was really cute. And then another one of the Bathing Beauties. This is definitely a little um, theme throughout, throughout the entire kit, these little cards with different ladies in their um, swimsuits. So I thought those were fun. So that's one of the background pages there. There's another one here that has some torn book pages that I always think are fun. Um, I believe these are, this one is in, Fran in French, so it has some French words there with more bathing beauties right there. And then I have a plain one here that you could use. So um, you could even, you know, if you wanted to use something like this, you could cut these out and put them on here, or you could put your own decorations. You could even use some of these other fussy cut items, you know, on this blank page if you wanted to. So there's a lot of options there for this kind of blank page and then I also have a, a yellowy blank page here and this one has what looks like some um, bubble wrap prints <laughs> all over there 
So that one's kind of fun. And then I also have a plain blue page that you could use for a background or something like that. So these, I think the plain pages are also perfect for just kind of tearing out and using for lists or your days or things like that as well. So that is the Lazy Summer Mad Plans Kit. And I will link it down below if you're interested in checking that out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.